Hey guys, what's up? This is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an echo effect. So actually I had a previous tutorial showing you how to do this in Sony Vegas, but I was actually incorrect on my terminology. That is actually a reverb effect, um, if you've ever seen that. So I'll be showing you how to do an actual echo effect here in Audacity, and it's actually quite simple. So let me show you. I have two tracks here for the top one's going to be for later, but this bottom one is just me saying wow. So here we go. Wow. There you go. It's it's amazing. I know. So to do just a very simple echo effect, let's go to effect. Well, select your audio that you want to be echoed. Uh, go to effect and go to echo. Shocker. So uh, I think the default for these settings is going to be 1 and 0.5. Now, a delay time of 1 second is not very good. So basically what the delay times means is the amount of time between each time it echoes. Um, the decay factor is how uh, how much of the volume is going to be left after the previous decay. So half, so it's going to play the first time, it's going to be half the next time, half of that the next time, and so on. So this is not going to sound great because our delay time is one second, and that is kind of long. So I'll show you what I mean. So you can see here by the audio changing that it's only echoed twice, and uh, it's not going to sound that great. Wow. 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 It kind of just sounds like me repeating it and backing up. Um, which kind of doesn't sound that real. So let's go ahead and go. I think the best, um, let's do this again. I think the best uh, delay time is probably going to be around 0.5, which is about half of what we just did. Wow, 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 wow. So that uh, is just a good solid echo, and that's, that's how you do it. So um, let me show you an example. Let's go ahead and maybe mess with the decay factor. So if we put this to point. Two, now it's going to get quieter a lot faster because it's going to be 20% of what it was the previous time it echoes. So as you can see, it didn't really change much here in the uh, the audio wave. Wow. 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 And it gets quieter a lot faster. And if you do uh, 0.8, then it's going to get uh, it's going to stay loud for a longer amount of time. So let's go ahead and mute this one and let's go up to the top track where I've recorded something longer, um, like you know me talking in several words and maybe a sentence kind of at the end um, instead of just one word and see how we could uh, use uh, another effect to better handle something like this. So I'm just going to show you um, what this is before I put any effects on it. It's really stupid, but I just had to record something. So here it is. Pineapples, bananas, apples, all of these are great fruits. So yeah, I do three words and then a sentence at the end. Um, don't judge me. Okay, so we're going to go to effect and let's go ahead and do, uh, no, we're not going to do that one more time, but let's go down instead to delay. So delay is basically the same exact thing, except you have some more options here. So if you leave everything the same and you do uh, a regular delay type, it's going to be the same, but we have more options. Um, for example, the delay type, you can change it to bouncing ball. And what this is going to do is if you can imagine a bouncing ball, every time it bounces, it's getting closer to the ground. So it's going to bounce more frequently. That's exactly what this echo is going to do. There's going to be less time between the echoes as it goes on. And the reverse bouncing ball is just simply the reverse of that. So I'm not going to show you those, but those are pretty cool to mess with. Um, the delay level per echo is the amount of uh, decibels the sound lowers um, per echo so instead of doing it like a percentage um, in the echo effect you can actually do a specific number of decibels that you want it to go lower so that's pretty cool um, and then the delay time is pretty much the same exact thing as last time um, maybe maybe I'll do that yeah maybe I'll do this as 0.2 since we're talking frequently we want it to be quicker um, and the pitch and tempo is kind of cool, but it's not really what we're looking for. But if you want to mess with this, this is actually pretty cool. With each echo, it can actually change the pitch and the tempo of what you're doing. And if you just do it to LQ pitch shift, I believe it just does the shift or the pitch instead of the tempo. Um, so these two options we can ignore. Uh, if we just have this set to zero. Um, and then you can actually set the number of times it echoes instead of just making it infinite until it gets quiet with the original echo effect. Um, now also something really cool is this allow duration to change is now um, you can make it to where it extends your clip to fit in the echoes. So if you were to set this to no, if the echo was still happening and it runs out of space for your clip, it would just stop and basically 
delete whatever the echo is that's going to happen next. But if you have this set to yes, it will actually extend your clip and allow room for the echo. So that's awesome. So I'll just show you uh, exactly what these settings sound like. You can tell that it added um, some room at the end because it did have some uh, echo that needed to be fit in there. So let's go ahead and listen to this. Pineapples, Pineapples bananas, 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 apples, 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 apples all of all these are great, great fruits. 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 Pretty dang cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Maybe let's mess with. Um, I can show you what uh, the pitch does. So let's change this to. I believe. Yeah, uh, if you do a positive uh, pitch change, um, then your voice will get higher. So let's go ahead and try. That. Let's do it to like one. Pineapples, Pineapples bananas, 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 apples. apples. All, all of these are, are great fruits. fruits. So if you were paying very close attention, you could tell that my voice was actually getting higher um, the more it echoed. Um, so pretty cool stuff, guys. That's how to do an echo effect in Audacity. If you are interested in reverb, um, I will maybe make a tutorial on that. It's just right here and it's pretty easy to figure out um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you learned what you were trying to learn um, leave a like if you liked it uh, dislike it if I wasn't clear enough and leave a comment if you want to suggest future tutorials alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video